What's up, guys? A lot of requests I for Pokemon this week, and I had several for Eevee. So, here we go. We're going to try Eevee from Pokemon. Now, for some of the younger people trying this, this is definitely um, a little bit of a harder one. We'll also have another option this week of an easier video for you guys if this one is tough. But, from watching the videos, it seems like everybody likes to try them all no matter what. And that's the point. Have fun, do your best, pause it, rewind it, keep trying. Um, do the best you can and have fun. Alright, we're going to start with her head. So we're going to do actually a little bit different today. Her head's going to be here and her body's going to be kind of sideways. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right around here with the head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, curve around, and right here she has a little bit of a chin. So it's kind of like a slight bump. And then up on that side. Okay, so that's kind of, again, it's a little bit more of a difficult shape, not just an oval or a circle like some of our other characters. For her ears, I'm going to do a curved line out like this, and then it's going to curve back down in like this. This ear is going to be sticking up more, so it's going to be about the same size, but it's going to curve up this way and then back down. To here. On the top of her head, she has kind of some spikes. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just kind of give it some spikes. And inside the ear, there's actually some spikes as well. Okay. Now for the ear, we have to kind of double this line now that we have the spikes in here. So I'm going to come up, stop. Come back down. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Up. Stop. Come back down. There we go. Okay. Her eyes are simply ovals. So we're going to do two large ovals. One. Two. Try your best to make them about the same size. Inside these eyes, I'm going to have a black circle, and then I'm also going to have a white circle. Now, it's going to look really funny until we color the eyes in, which are going to be brown. So on this side, black circle, white circle. Like I said, it's going to look a little bit weird at first. Her nose is just going to be a little black shape like this. A little bit more ovally. And then for the mouth, there's a lot of different expressions you guys could do. If you want her mouth to be open, you could do that. But I'm just going to do the easiest one, which is just going to be a little curve like that. And for some details, I'm going to give her some little eyebrow marks. Now, like I said, her eyes are going to look a little bit scary until we get them colored in. Okay, I'm going to slide this paper up a little bit so you can see the next part. So down here, we're going to draw, I guess it's like her fur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two little lines coming out like this. Then I'm going to skip down and I'm going to make a jagged line like this. If you didn't leave that little opening, it's fine. Not a big deal. I need to make this fur a little bit bigger, so I'm going to come out here, a few more jagged lines until it comes in and meets. And I got to do the same thing on this side. Come out. And your little jagged things do not have to be exactly like mine. If you were to search up pictures, you're going to find all kinds of different pictures. Okay, for her front legs, okay, can you see the bottom of the page here? What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to draw a curved line down like this. Okay, I'm going to curve it at the bottom. And then when I come up, I'm going to do an inward curve, curve a little bit, and then an outward curve all the way up. On this side, I'm going to start here, curve, little curve, and then curve in, out, 
and back. Okay? And I'm going to put two little lines on each foot like that. Next, from here, we're going to draw a very small curve like this. And for her back leg, it's going to start not there, but up a little bit. It's going to come down, curve in, out, stop. Come around, stop, and I'm going to bring it all the way back up. So it's going to come like this. Up, 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 curve, 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 in. Okay? We can add those two little lines here too. Her other back leg is going to be kind of almost right next, not right next to it, but it's going to be coming down like this in the back. Curve, curve, up, line, line. Okay? And now she has a real big tail. So coming out from back here, it's kind of the shape of a teardrop. It's going to come up. I'm going to give it a few of those little spikies. And then I'm going to curve again. Back in. And at the Back of the tail, we need more little spiky lines like that. Okay, there, can you see it all? Can I fit it all in there? All right, there is Evie. Now it's gonna look so much better whenever I color it in. So I will color it in, take a picture, and I will post that for you as well so you can see the colors and how I did it. It's a hard one, guys. Good luck.